kind of talk about your best explanation in your terms of what the thermocline is. So go ahead. So your thermocline, that's where your water layers when it gets hot in the summertime. So your upper layer, it's going to get really hot. The water's going to separate. It's going to make a uh, a layer. You know, your cooler water is going to be on the bottom. It's more denser. Uh, your warmer water is going to get on the top. And, you know, you'll have you know, the bottom layer of water. will just be a dead layer of water eventually once, it, you know, once it's set up for a little while. Um, the oxygen will get depleted. And then, you know, throughout the summer, it'll just be a dead, stagnant layer of water. Um, you know, in a nutshell, that's basically what it is. I know uh, you can uh, you can see it on your graphs. It's pretty easy to find on your graphs. Um, I like to kind of run my graphs on 455, and it penetrates the water better. You can see it a lot better. Um so when you uh, when you go out there, first thing I'm looking for is if I'm in an area where there is a thermocline. So if there is a thermocline, I'm not really worried about anything below it because it's just going to be dead water. So, you know, really, that's kind of your, your dog all the way through your dog days of summer, all the way up until... Um, the light turns over really um, you're going to have to deal with that thermocline and you really, you really need to know, you know, different parts of the lake. You might have a thermocline and then another part of the lake, you may not have a thermocline. Um, you may go back into a Creek and it may only be 15 foot deep. Then you may go out on the main lake and it might be 30 feet deep. You really got to pay attention uh, wherever you're at on the lake where that where that's at because wherever that's at you know you really want to try to target fish that's above it 